What is up guys, Manicus here, and I'm your coach for the Boston Beedrills. This is week three of the PCL, and today we're going against the creator of the PCL. He is known as Garchomp the God in our Discord and on YouTube and in real life. He is Austin, and he has a tremendous team that he drafted, um, and I, I'm... I'm scared to go against them. I think it'll be a fun match, though. Uh, we'll have to kind of see. Take it very slow. It's been a super, super tough start for us this season in the PCL. Uh, we are uh, zero and six on the first game, zero and five on the second game. That puts us at zero oh and two on the season at a negative eleven differential, and that is just not a place that you want to be sitting. Uh, two weeks in With that being said we do have a very very solid team uh, with our Ultra Beast that is Celestila. We have Crocodile. We have a hard-hitting Victini Rotom Wash um, Trying to think what else we have on our team for this week um well, regardless, it's it's, it's going to be a fun match. Um, you'll kind of see the team as we go into the match. Um, and you'll be able to see his team as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get connected to him. And I will be right back. All right, guys. It looks like Austin has accepted our challenge. And we are going to let him go ahead and choose the rules for this battle. Uh, it'd be nice to pick up a win today, but you know, it's not going our way this season in the PCL, so um, there's a very good chance that we do not only lose, but we might even get blown back. Uh, we are rocking two Scarfers today um, with Crocodile and Victini. Uh, we have Life Orb. On our Lando because that's how you run a Lando set is you run sheer force life orb um, unlike last week when we ran a scarf set which is fine but you know if you're gonna draft Lando um, and it, if the sheer force variant is allowed run the life orb just do it let's see what we got going on we need to look at this matchup. What a team he has indeed. He has the Zygarde, the Tangrowth, the Manaphy, the Raichu, Marowak, and the uh, Magirna. So a few things are off the bat here. We have to um, be very, very um, observant of the volt switches on Rotom because both Marowak and Raichu are going to be running a, um, a lightning rod set and Zygarde uh, is going to be obviously immune um, let me just look at one thing real quick I would like to catch something off guard real fast um, I kind of just want to run Rotom first and kind of kind of act dumb, because um, I think that would be kind of funny. Uh, and I think that he might switch in, um, possibly Raichu, and maybe we can hit it with a big old Hydro Pump. That'd be kind of cool. Um, if we can hit the Hydro Pump, we missed one last week, uh, which you know that's just, that's the thing with Hydro Pump. You're gonna miss them. Uh, sometimes it seems like you miss them more than you actually hit them. Um, so there is the tan growth. Um, so I'm actually just going to double. Because that's probably the worst possible lead for us, to be honest. Um, this thing's actually just kind of an issue. Um... I wonder what he wants to do. It's 
So Giga Drain's possibility. Knockoff's possibility. I kind of think he's gonna go for the knockoff. That would be my guess. Um, let's just go into Amoongus. I, Leftovers is nice on Amoongus, but we don't necessarily have to have it. Alright, so there's that. And I would assume he knows the Sludge Bomb's coming. Nagirno should be his go-to here. I'm just going to double right out into Victini. Uh, play very aggressive very early. The only thing is, is he could stay in um, because Tangrowth, he's not going to really fear too much. Um, does he just go for like another knockoff, maybe an earthquake and power? Okay, that does nothing. So was that like a hidden power ice? I would assume. Um, so we are able to get Victini in on this thing relatively free. Um, we go for the blue flare here and light something up. Uh, Manaphy is probably the the choice here that he would want to go into. Um, I kind of just want to U-turn. If I U-turned and Manaphy came in, um, what would we, what would we want to go into? I wrote him. It's not too bad to be honest. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to U-turn. If he stays in, fine. Uh, but my goal is to just try to get momentum this game. He goes into Casper. It's fine. Does very little. Um, but that does allow us to go into... Um, I guess we could go into Crook as well. Um, Crook's not bad by any means. Um, I'm actually going to do that. Get off a nice Intimidate here. And... Earthquake would invite in... Tangrowth again. So we could go for Knockoff, or we can go for our Rocks. Uh, doesn't have anything to get rid of Rocks, does he? Um, I think I definitely want to go for my rocks then. He actually stays in. We may take a big old flare blitz here. Uh, Will o' Wisp. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, that sucks, but. Well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Um, we still have knockoff utility with this thing. Um, so that's, that's fine. Um. I mean, we kind of just want to go into Rotom here, right? Instead of, like, Scarf knockoff utility. I would assume that he switches out as well. Yeah. And goes into this thing here uh, with the air balloon. So let's make sure that we make note of that. How much do you think a hydro pump does to a Raichu? I wouldn't assume it does too much, but at the same time, it's kind of interesting. It's definitely kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, Hydro Pump does a decent amount. I mean, he, we're definitely going to do more to him if we can hit it. If we can hit it. Um, and we are Assault Vest, so he's not really going to be doing too much to us. He's going to go for the Thunderbolt. This is going to do maybe 30%. Yeah. 
Um, we're going to hit this big thing, hopefully do a tremendous amount to him. It does do a tremendous amount. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Now, I think he kind of, I think he probably wants to, to switch out. Does a Dark Pulse kill? Um, uh, it's very iffy on whether it kills. It's very iffy, but I think I do want to go for it. Um, 27 to 32. He is right there at that, that line. Um, but I think he is within killing range. Um, he's going to Volt Switch. It does a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, I would assume he goes into Tangrowth here. Uh, I would prefer him to go into Mana Feed. That would be nice. But I would assume he goes into Tangrowth. Yeah. So he goes into Tangrowth. Um, it's not going to take much from this. It takes take a little bit of rocks, a little bit of the Dark Pulse damage. Um, very, very little. Very, very little. Um... And we are going to Volt Switch. So here's the issue. If I Volt Switch, if I Volt Switch, Raichu could come in and maybe knock me out with a Thunderbolt, to be honest. Um, I think that'd be the pretty clever of him probably what I would do. Um, I think I just want to go into Amoongus here. He could have the Earthquake. Didn't he have Hidden Power something? Didn't he have Hidden Power something? But honestly, I don't think it's going to do that much. He must have had Hidden Power Fire? No, no, no. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he had. I think I'm just going to go for a sludge bomb here and see how much we're doing to it. Garen is probably the switch. Tinkerbot, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. This thing kind of scares me. Uh, I mean, I think Victini's probably the play, but I think it's also a pretty easy switch to predict. So I guess for the Magnet Rods, not sure I agree with that. I think it's too early for that, but um, to each their own. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna blue flare here. There's no reason not to. I would like to do 25 to 30 percent to something. That takes a decent amount of damage. Blue Flare comes in. Um, gosh, I want to say that's within reach of knocking it out. I really do. I mean, it's super, super close. I mean, I think that probably did about... 40%. I really think that did about 40%. Just doing a little bit of calcan real quick. Hmm. That's interesting. Saying it did about 29 to 34%. 
on the calx. But honestly, I'm seeing it do a lot more than that. 269 I'm going for it I'm going for the blue flare I think it can knock it out yeah So that's, that's great. That's really good. Uh, here comes Squishy. So that's an issue. He brought that in very quick. So I think he, he knows exactly what he, what he wants to do with that. Um, which is pretty scary. Um, Can go with crook. And I would assume he's just gonna dragon dance. Yeah. That's fine. Um Plus one speed. He's probably faster than us. Um, I'm still gonna just taunt. So, uh, the nice thing is he's only plus one. So I'm just going to go ahead and give him a kill on uh, probably Rotom. Going to go ahead and give him the kill on Rotom. It's fine. And then I'm going to go back into Crook. Gonna bring his attack down. And kinda wanna go into Celestila here. But at the same time, I kind of just want Crook to die. Um, I'm just going to knock off. So there is that. Um, you want know, a thousand arrows there, right? I'm just gonna go for the earthquake now. Oh yeah, I'm locked in. Um. Okay, so let's look at Zygarde offensive. He should be at even right now, I think. Yeah, he is. Um, is it me how long taunt? This is the last turn of taunt. Um, so Zygarde and... Hmm. I still think this might be game, but let's just see. Celestila. It's 
not bad though, honestly. I think I'm gonna switch. Keep him just in case. This should do about 27%, yeah. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with how that went. I would assume he switches here. I probably should have Leech suited, but just on the off chance that he stays in. Um, I don't know if HP ice kills or not. I don't know if HP ice kills or not. It doesn't. It's it's fine. It's not a, it's not a big deal at all. Um, I would assume heavy slam kills from here. Definitely does. Do you think he attacks? I think I might protect just to get a little bit more health back. But if I was to protect him Dragon Dance, there's no way he Dragon Dances. I'm just gonna protect, get more leftovers back. That'd be hilarious if he Dragon Danced. Yeah. That would be it. That would have been really, really funny though. Um, yeah, we're just gonna heavy slam. Cause that does 20 to 24 percent, and he has much less than that. Wow, that does a lot of damage. I really thought I was going to do a little bit less than that. So there is the mana fee. Um, I have 50 HP left, which is about 12%. Yeah. He should be able to kill me. Um, now, obviously, he probably thinks I'm going to go for a protect here. Uh, but I'm just going to go for Leech Seed. Now, hopefully, we actually land this Leech Seed. So that was good. That was good. And now we definitely just protect. I don't care if he switches out or not. It's just a good spot for me to be in. I think he probably switches out, um, but I think this puts us in a really good spot. I'm tr really trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that uh, that Tangrowth. Obviously, I have Victini, um, keeping that thing around. Or if he Tell Glows again. He might. I would. Yeah. But, you know, the thing is, is like, his speed's not going up, so I can definitely come in with Victini and revenge kill this thing. Um, 
He's literally, literally plus six now. And Scald destroys our life. Um, but I'll tell you what. I'm not going to lose Celesteela. Crocodile is definitely the switch. For sure. For sure. I am not giving you my Celesteela. Okay. So... What do I have on Lando? Nothing great. I don't know if Victini kills. Was an energy ball. Bolt strike does 61 to 72. Oh, E ball is not going to kill. Yeah. It does. It definitely is not going to kill. So that's an issue. What else do I have on this thing? U turn. Yeah, I mean, I can stay alive with that. Amungus. Um, it's going to get destroyed. Lando, life orb. Earth power actually can kill. Interesting. Interesting. Does it kill level 50? There's a better chance of killing at level... F uh, wow, I think... Oh, I ran out of time. Crap. Crap. Mmm. That sucks. Okay. Do I need a Moongus? Do I need a Moongus? Uh, no. Amoongus would have been for this thing, and now I can't handle it with this thing. So, unfortunately... Unfortunately, I don't, I don't need it. Um... It'd have been nice to have a Raichu, but unfortunately it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, on the off chance that I somehow live, I'm not living this, it's going to do 200% to me. Um, it'd been cool if I was Sash though. That's not what I wanted to happen. If I was going to do that, I went into Victini and guaranteed my kill with Lando. Um, so that sucked. That sucked. And I'm not 100% sure that this earth power is going to kill, but it has a good chance. And that is if we're faster. Yeah, we're faster. Uh, all right, all right. I mean, you know, it, it was uh, it was a damage roll. Um, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I had to have Victini anyway. Um, for the Tell you what, does Victini win? Oh. 
with blue flare. Tell you what, you might win. He actually could win. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other mod that he had on his team. I'm guessing Tangra takes this pretty well. Tell you why you don't take it that well. I would assume a knockoff's coming here, right? Because that would allow the Raichu to outspeed me. And revenge kill me. Absolutely, and then he'd win. I've got to, there's no, there's no doubt about it. I've got to go into Cell Steel here. I should have went for the U-turn. That was that was a misplay. Um, now I think he actually might just win, but we're gonna see how much heavy slam does. Um, hidden power ice. Heavy Slam does more. We're going to protect. Because I don't think he got leftovers back. Ah, so he's in power fire. Nice. Um... Pretty gutsy play here. But it's something that I gotta do. Ah, he got me. Good good play, good play. Good play. He got me. He got me. Um That it is what it is. I cannot live a thunderbolt from Rach, you know. Because I'm sure it's probably it's probably a specs, right? You, I oh, know I'm not living that. I think right you just sweeps now. <sighs> so technically, with Celestilo, I can actually live if I get my health back up uh, the way I want it to be. Um, but if he pulls an HP fire here, it's not going to happen. He should expect me to, um, Go for a protect there. Ah, 
He goes ahead and goes into the Rachu. Alright. So. Uh, that's a good game. Good game. Uh, there's no way I'm living a Thunderbolt. Pretty sure, anyway. We'll make sure. Forty to forty-eight. I'm right there at it, and it's probably specs. Um, I would assume. So I would assume it's probably specs. Wow. Wow. I can't believe we lived that. Is that game? Is that game? I don't know. We gotta have Victini. Um. definitely helps um, we're gonna go for the protect and then we're gonna go for the heavy slam Does Magirna, Magirna's slow though, right? Oh, it definitely lives. If it's the salt vest, it definitely lives the blue flare. Absolutely. Actually, I think without the assault vest, it lives the blue flare. Yeah. Yeah, that's game. That's game. That's a good game though. That's a good game. Um Yeah. Unless that thing is just not especially defensive. Um, but if he has Victini, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. There's no way that thing drops to the blue flare, right? No way. Dude, if you switched right here, that'd be that'd be so bad. <laughs> Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. But it's making me wonder if like this thing's gonna drop to this blue flare. Like it's got to be Assault vest. He withdrew. I mean, if it's assault vest, I'm not going to be able to two hit it. Does this thing win? I am absolutely blown away right now. How much health does this thing have? With the rock damage, this literally may kill. If not, I mean, what a tremendous game, regardless. Wow. Wow. That thing was fully offensive. Wow. That was crazy. Oh my goodness. What a game. I mean, holy crap. Um, good game, dude. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about this one afterwards for sure. Uh, that is just nuts to me. Um, hey, at least we got us a win for the season. That's exciting. 
Um, wow. Big Teeny coming in clutch there for sure. Um, anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna peace out of here. She didn't, the screen just went black. I already disconnected my stuff. Um, make sure you go check out the guy I just battled, Garchomp the God, also known as Austin. And I will see you guys next time. Subscribe and like. Bye bye.